Hello YouTube, I'm MusicKev, and welcome to Zelda Month. I'll be uploading one video a day on either this channel or my other channel. I'll be doing 10 top 10s on this channel, and then the two more musical top 10s will get an in-depth discussion on my other Musing About Music channel. Today's list is Top 10 Musical Characters in Zelda Games. This list is based on who I think is cool, their helpfulness, and their musical ability. Oh, and I'm applying a one per game rule here. Otherwise, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time would dominate this list. So many in those games. So many. Anyway, maybe you noticed, since you're smart, that this is my first musical top 10, being the top 10 musical characters in Zelda games. So I'll be going into more depth on my choices on my other channel, but I'll leave a link for that at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get this started. Number 10. Number 9. My next choice for the list comes from Wind Waker. No, I'm not picking Jingle Butt Makar. He can be taught by Floor Masters. And I'm not picking Medley. She mostly uses her harp as a reflective surface to solve puzzles. No, our musical option from Wind Waker is the Disco Man Tot, who helps you learn the song of passing. Yes, I'm qualifying a dancer as musical. Dancing takes rhythm. It's musically induced. Number 8. Rail, one of the Locomo, which I mentioned a few days ago, is definitely the coolest of his tribe. First off, the Shalm is a unique instrument, which I'll talk more about in a couple days on my other channel. But what makes him truly special is that he recognizes cuckoos for the immortal powerhouses they are. Plus, he wants to make their power help the good of mankind. Number 7. And this slot is the son of a sunfish. I guess they thought they were being clever with that one. Anyway, it's our buddy Monbo, a fish you find by exploring around the Angler's Cave Dungeon in Link's Awakening. There's not much more I can say about this guy, except that his song is awesome. I'm not sure how I'm going to make an entire episode out of it on my other channel, but I'll figure out. Anyway, he has a very awesome song, and I love how his eyes move as he does it. Number 6. The Flute Boy in Link to the Past was a very neat character. He gets you one of my top 10 means of transportation, and his flute summons his duck that helps him, and then you fly around the land of Hyrule. He played his flute for animals in a grove, but when you get close to him, he disappears. When you see him again in the Dark World, he gives you a shovel to dig up his ocarina before turning into a tree. The end of an innocent was a bit shocking as a child, but a lover of nature becoming nature is a fitting end. Number 5 Earning his spot in the top 5 is the director of the Indiegogos, Toto. He teaches Link the Ballad of the Windfish, no relation to the Link's Awakening song of the same name. So what makes this guy impressive for introducing a song that doesn't actually have a use outside of learning it? Okay, it gets you a mask. A worthless one. But, this guy can make duplicates of you. Just look. There you are. Four times. Plus, I don't know if he had the sheet music in front of him, but trying to put a song together piece by piece and hearing the parts individually is hard. Number 4. Nairu, the oracle, not the goddess, is my next musical character. Her voice was lauded as the best in all of Labrina, a voice so amazing that it can control time itself. She also has a harp that does the same thing, which makes its way into Link's capable hands so that he can go on to the adventure. Vocalists are definitely close to my heart, so Miss Nairu singing definitely earns her part on this list. Magical singers are awesome. Not you, Fee. Number 3.
Alright, for my third slot is the Ocarina of Time character. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's Malon, the Horse Whisperer, Saria, the Childhood Friend, and Darunia, the Intense Dancer. And then there's Sheik. No, it's not Sheik. Too obvious. He's technically Zelda, and no self-respecting musician would throw a breakable instrument like an ocarina, especially not into water. Do you know what that does to the instrument? I mean, unless she had intended to break it, in which case she had a really good plan to stop Ganondorf that Link just messed up. I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. The winner is going to be Saria, for giving you your first instrument properly, and for her song being the key to Darunia's heart. Number 2. Next up is Sheik from Hyrule Warriors. This Sheik doesn't throw instruments around. No, it's not cheating. She's a different person entirely. Shut up, comments. Sheik uses the music as a way to give herself buffs or summon attacks with the different songs from Ocarina of Time. Using music for combat is super cool. Kind of Scottish, if you ask me. My favorite thing to do is play the Serenade of Water and be shielded from damage. Plus, if we are including her alter ego, as I did last time, Zelda uses the Wind Waker to create music to fight foes. Both have incredible fighting styles in their own right. Number 1 Finally, my number one musician is Cass from the Breath of the Wild. He sings and plays the accordion, so doubly impressive there. Cass is also incredibly helpful, leading you to several shines based on the songs he learned from his mentor. He travels the world trying to find the inspirations to his songs, a classic bard. He knows songs that tell the history, and then the entire DLC is based around his Champions Ballad, which includes songs for all five champions. I'm going to have a good time talking about Cass in depth. He definitely earns his spot at the top. Thanks for watching my ramblings about my favorite musical characters from Zelda games. Did I leave your favorite out? Did I let something that didn't really earn its spot on my list go on it? Let me know your favorites in the comments below. Like this video as well, so I know that I've done well. If you want to see the rest of my list, the playlist is here. If you want to see my gameplay of Zelda Link Between Worlds, click over here. Subscribe to stay up to date on all of my videos for Zelda Month. I'll see you tomorrow on the other channel.